Hello everyone and welcome to Marmalade Recipes. Today we're going to be making a strawberry and cream shortcake. Perfect for the summer months and nice and easy to make as well. So let's make a start. You'll need 120 grams of plain flour, 38 grams of granulated sugar, one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, a sprinkle of salt, give that a good mix, add 58 grams of unsalted butter, straight from the fridge preferably, and just chop that up. It'll be easier to mix once it's nicely chopped up. So you want to use your fingertips and just crumble the butter in. Coat the butter with the flour and just use your fingertips to crumble that in. So like you would have a crumble topping on a fruit crumble. That's what you want to see. Nice fine breadcrumbs almost. Add 60 ml of double cream. Mix one egg. But you'll be using half the egg. So divide it into two bowls and just use the one. Add a capful of vanilla and give that a good mix. Add that wet mix to the dry mix. Mix it in, but here you're going to just be mixing really slowly. Not mixing like a cake batter, just mix it all together almost in a, as few mixes as you can. So it starts to get a bit lumpy and a little bit sticky. That's what you want. So then only about three or four strawberries, dependent on the size. Chop those up into little quarters, little pieces. Drop all of those in. When you're finished with that, give that all a really good mix. But again, not mixing like a cake batter. It's more like a scone batter. Line a baking tray. I've used a round one with non-stick paper. And then with the back of your spoon, smooth the mixture down gently. So what I've got here is some flour. Just pat the flour onto the shortcake. And do the same with your knife. So just mix it around in the flour and you're just going to score your shortcake into quarters. And it's ready for the oven at 200 degrees C, gas mark six, and you'll need about 15 minutes to bake your shortcake. Then it's ready to make the icing. So we'll put four tablespoons of icing sugar into a clean bowl. And I've added one tablespoon of water and just give that a mix. You might need to add more icing sugar, you might need to add more water just to adjust it. Just keep mixing and what you're after is a nice thick but still fluid icing that you can just drizzle over your baked shortcake. But you don't want your icing to merge into your shortcake or to run off your shortcake. You just want it to sit nicely on top, just as a nice decoration and a nice drizzle. So there you have it guys, your strawberry and cream shortcake. Thanks for joining me and see you next time and enjoy.